This video is only an overview of the parts installation, so be sure to check the website for the current downloadable instructions. Also, refer to a Porsche service manual anytime when performing work on your car. Remember to follow standard safety procedures, including the use of safety glasses, jack stands, and other proper lifting procedures. Hey everybody, I'm Daniel with Elephant Racing. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install our quick change camera plates on the front struts of this Porsche 993. These camber plates provide a large range of adjustability. They also feature a maintenance-free, weather-sealed, Teflon-line monoball bearing. This bearing allows the suspension to move properly in the desired direction while eliminating any unwanted deflection from the rubber bushings. So let's get to it. Today we're going to be installing this camber plate on a stock 993 strut. It also can be installed on a set of aftermarket coilovers. I've got the spring compressors already installed, compressing the spring to take the tension out of the, the mount. And now I'm going to go ahead and take the nut off that I've already broken the torque of. This is a 21 millimeter socket to take the nut off. Then we've got the mount itself. We have a spacer and we have the spring hat. We're going to be reusing the spring hat. We're not going to reuse the spacer. We're going to assemble the camera plate onto the stem and then we're going to install the provided Schnorr washer. The Schnorr washer is directional. The tapered smaller diameter of the cone points outwards towards the nut. Then I'm going to install the nut tightening it until I feel the rod start to spin. Then I'm going to counter hold the rod with a seven millimeter Allen while I finish tightening the nut. Lastly, I'm going to torque it to spec with a 22 millimeter crow's foot. Lastly, you'll want to remove the spring compressors evenly, making sure as the spring expands, it seats properly in the base and in the hat. Now we're going to install the quick change camber plate into the vehicle. You'll notice we have it assembled onto an MCS coilover, but the procedure will be the same for a stock strut. When disassembling suspensions, it's important to support them so that the ball joints are not overextended, maxed out, or damaged. You can use house wiring or a jack stand. If you want to use the OEM gasket, you'll need to add washers onto the studs to limit the amount of crush of the gasket between the plate and the body. Now, I'm going to slide the strut into the car. This can be done with one person, but is easier with two. It's important to follow the proper torquing procedure because if over tightened, it's common for these studs to break. Large camber adjustments can be made by loosening the three nuts on the plate. And sliding the mount to where you want it. And then retorquing. 